Hello and welcome to the Football Today podcast. It is Thursday the 23rd of May as we look ahead to the Arsenal women taking on the Australian, well the A-League All-Star shall we say, mm. this Friday night at Marvel Stadium. I'm your host Alex Donnelly, as always, joined by the stats guy who hasn't had a shower in two days. Whoa, what? Uh, yeah, <laughs> You're in the same show. Yeah, the same show. I, just, I work hard boys, I've just been in here just grinding. That's a lie. Yeah, grinding out the last two days. <laughs> and Marcus in the middle there in the Newton Deutsch. Yeah. Go on Germany, how good. <laughs> We're going to watch the Euros. Yeah, yeah exactly. Don't kiss the German badge. That's weird. Why? I didn't kiss it. Anyway, uh, before we get into this, give us a thumbs up hey, on YouTube. Subscribe. Shut up, Marcus. <laughs> Facebook, Instagram, TikTok, and X Football Today AU across all those social platforms. Follow us on Spotify. Download the podcast, five star review, all that good stuff on Apple Podcast. All right. Jeez. We usually start off with a year now. Changing it up today. Oh. We're going to start off with trivia. Yes. We bring in social girl Olivia because social guy Leo is a lazy ass. The Matilda's number one fan. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> All right. How many goals has Arsenal's Alessia Russo scored this WSL season? Oh, 11. Wait. Can we all guess? Everyone guess? Yeah. Everyone guess? Uh, I'm going to say Seven. four. I was going in the middle. Eight. Alex, you win. It was 12. Oh, yes. yes. I thought it was going to be like 8 oh. or 10. Nah, she hit form oh. late in the season and got double figures. That's a beautiful run in. Alessia Russo, more than likely, will be Arsenal's starting striker this Friday night at Marvel Stadium. Yes. They have announced the squad. Before we talk about the overall squad, the outs are probably the most important, noticeable yep. ones here. No Leah Williamson, Leah Walty, Stina Blackstenius, Beth Mead, Manu Zinsberger, and Leia Cordina have not been included, uh, with Lotte Wilburn Moy also injured. Frustrating, like me as an Arsenal fan. Uh, I understand why Leah Williamson and Beth Mead aren't coming. It's a load thing because yeah. they're coming back from ACLs. Got to fly them all the way around the world to play in a friendly you be before careful with that Euros stuff, yeah. qualifiers. Yeah. I understand Stina Blackstenius in contract Contracts, negotia- yes. negotiations. Probably can't bring her out here and try and negotiate that new contract. Dear God, Stina, please stay. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but you have a look through this squad. Oh, and, beautiful. And, and, and the main names. Obviously, the Tillies are there. The Tillies. Steph Catley, Kyra Cooney Cross, Caitlin Ford are all there, along with Kay- Katie McCabe, Alessia Russo, Emily Fox, Frida Manam, and Kim Little. Like, yeah. It's just all stacked. You just look at those, all those players and you go, I just remember watching it at the Women's World Cup and they were like the best players from all their countries. Like Katie yeah. McCabe was obviously killing it. For Ireland, yeah. You got uh, Manam was awesome. All these players were just, were just awesome, yeah. And Def- Russo definitely worth getting through the gates for. Oh, absolutely. Yeah. If you haven't bought your tickets, head to Ticket Tech. We're not, we're not affiliated with them in any way. Dead set, just turn up. If we'll not, check out a lot of our content on it as well. Yeah. We'll all, actually, we'll all be there in different aspects of the ground, I assume. Yeah, yeah. All right, we'll be doing different content there, throughout yeah. the evening. How good's that? Um, this is great because there's also a couple of academy players and some under-19s, which is good because it means Jonas can bring them into that first-team squad mm-hmm. and maybe give them some game time because what are we what are we expecting from this game? Like, it is a glorified exhibition match. Yeah, that's right. You'd expect the Arsenal... You'd expect Arsenal to win this pretty comfortably. In a lot of these games, especially A-League All-Stars, men's and women's, the A-League men's and women's actually go all right because they go at 100% intensity. So I remember when it was the A-League men's, I can't remember who they played. Barcelona? Barcelona. And um, I feel the A-League men's players were dominating that game. Wasn't it pre-season for Barcelona? Was it mid-season for the guys? I think it was post-season from memory. I think so. Yeah, post-season and... Which obviously makes it harder. Yeah. The uh, teams from overseas play a lot I think more it was like games. Four three. Yeah. Up, yeah. Up being four three like was an amazing Barcelona game. Went. They flicked the switch and went. But my point is, this would be yeah. a lot closer than people think, just okay. because the, I think the A League women's have more to play for. They're like, well, I want to show on the world stage that we're good it's, enough and things like that. If so. you come out and have an awesome game, yeah. it may mm. be like people Arsenal look or other, other similarly teams like how Grand Qual did yes. it against yes. Barcelona. Yes. Nestoria and Kunda has the chance to do it against Newcastle. Yep. And. Obviously, there's some chance for the uh, A League women's players. So someone like Courtney Vine, well, like Courtney already, Vine, yeah, deep exactly in the right, Matilda yeah. squad, but stayed here for another year at Sydney FC. This yep. is a chance for her if she scores a goal or two. It's like she'll be overseas. Oh, before she you can know it. be yeah. it. This has a couple of moments. Dribbles past a couple of players. Yeah. Even Chidiak, who's been bouncing overseas back yeah. here, back. Out. I feel like. Like we've said with yeah. multiple players, some people leave too early or things yeah. like that. But yeah. even just if she plays well in this game, she'll put her name back so, on the market. Yeah. Speaking of that squad, it is a decent squad. The notable name sort of Jada Wyman, Lydia Williams. You'd assume they just have one half each keeping like that. Yeah, yeah makes probably. sense. Uh, Chidiak's in there along with Tamika Yallop, Michelle Heyman, yes. Kaya Simon and Courtney Vine. They're, they're the main names that I sort of took from there that are also, you know, Matilda adjacent at least, if, yep. if not a starting uh, lineup there. So like, this is going to be a great game. Yeah. yeah. I, assume, I assume there's no cap on substitutions either, so I think everyone will get some minutes. Hope not. Like, no, no, in these games, in friendlies, there's yeah, not. I don't think no, you, can, you can just rotate your whole squad if you want, which yeah. a lot of the time they do at halftime. So it'll be very exciting to see 
yeah, how they do that and how you get to see all the best if players. If Kyra Cooney Cross doesn't start, Jonas, I swear to God. Okay, <laughs> Catley, Cooney Cross and Ford are all starting. Like, we can lock yeah. that in. Alex might run on the pitch. He's got to have, have a sense of occasion, doesn't he? <laughs> he Surely. does. He's not really good at that. <laughs> <laughs> I, he, he will. He My will. Jonas out agenda or, could restart here. Or don't start him in the first minute. And then second minute, bring him on. And then everyone just like stand up and clap. Oh, yeah. <laughs> That'd be pretty yeah, cool. Yeah, I'm sure Alessia Russo's <laughs> going to love that. It's like, yeah, you've come to Australia. Hey, minute in, get off. <laughs> I, I, would, I would love that. I would be, I'd be studs up at the knees. <laughs> Speaking of studs up at the knees, Katie McCabe, does she get a yellow card? Yeah, nah. That's the yeah, nah. Oh, there you go. No. No, surely not in a friendly. Yeah. She doesn't care. It's she Katie McCabe. She's scary, though. She, she will, she's going to take the mic. I remember. Yeah, no, 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 she'll, she'll, she's not even going to jog and chase after players. She's Someone not gonna will run past her and she'll shirt tug him down she is oh. so scary I remember watching Ireland versus Australia in the Women's World yeah. Cup and she, she instead of going for the ball she just lines and plays <laughs> also Hayley Russo's got her in the, in the alleyway yeah now. but that's also because there's a bit of you know uh, I think I think she'll be on her best behaviour yeah <laughs> Caitlin's on the other side of the field can't calm her down just, yeah. they're, just, they're just there for vibes really yeah it's pure vibes I can't wait to see all the photos of them with like animals at the zoo and Catley's stuff. from yeah Melbourne as well yeah. so she'll be very excited I remember yeah. when they played in Melbourne at Marvel she was absolutely oh, loving it the crowd's yeah. going to go off regardless it'll be because awesome it's, I, I wonder what kit they're going to wear if they're going to wear the uh, Stella McCartney one or just the traditional it'll be the traditional cup. one or it's, the, no, no, sorry it's going to be the new one the new home kit yeah mm. what, yeah, what, yeah does it look alright mm. the new one yeah, it's Good. It's like last year's was a ten okay. with the gold trim. This is like a seven and a half. Ah, it's a bit of bit of a dip. Yeah, that's Adidas right. have gone the same designs with these. It's weird. Anyway, uh, getting off track. We need to roll into the Matilda squad because that's been announced uh, for the upcoming friendlies against China. Can yes. we stop talking about Sam Kerr? Yes. Yeah, she was never making the Olympics. <laughs> no. Stop <laughs> it. Just chill. Just well, chill. Olivia behind the camera has hope that she'll play in the, Olivia, play in the final. <laughs> your hope is gone. She did her ACL, no, you Delulu lady. <laughs> <laughs> no, I, I agree. Just bring her on in the final. 20 minutes left, scores a bang. Stats guy, we can only take 18 plays. We don't have room for uh, your knee could be Sam okay. Sam Kerr with one for, leg is still vibes, good. Like, Scott and she could still vibe. No, Scott Carson is in vibes. He's homegrown. That's why he's in the squad. Oh, well, he still vibes. Who was, who was the vibes player that came? Muhammad El Nenny. Yeah. Uh, I can't remember. I can't anyway, remember Matilda squad. squad. So we've got four goalkeepers. This is the confusing that seems one a bit for me. Excessive, but yeah. So we need it's, to cut this down to 18 for the Olympics. So yep. Mackenzie Arnold is the incumbent. You think that Tegan Mike is going to be the number two. Do we assume Lydia Williams gets her farewell game? At Stadium Australia. Probably, yeah. 80,000 yes. people. Yeah. That's her farewell game. That would be pretty cool. Yeah. yeah. I think, I think you're going to have right. three keepers. Olympics? They usually take three because. Um, no, you can. You've got to take at least two. You can't at least you two. Don't have three. Yeah, but TJ loves oh, every tournament we've had, he yeah. takes three. Yeah. Yeah, but that's when we've had 23 player squads. So then you look true, at true. the defensive. We are stacked defensively mm. here. Like Catley, Carpenter, Kennedy, Hunt, Torpy, Grant, Polk, Courtney Nevin, Shan <laughs> Free, and Winona Heatley. Midfielders. We've got four. Kyra Cooney cross yeah, but lots of them can rotate. Tamika Yallop and Emily Van Egmond. No Katrina Gari. She's recovering from the ankle injury. Yep. As we've seen on social media, she is running around kicking a football again, flying her to Australia for 20 hours. Doesn't make sense. Mm -hmm. Keep her over there given the Olympics are in Because she's still a question mark Olympics. She'll probably make it. Only four mids is still okay. You got like Torpy, who pretty much played defense well, midfield and attack in some of their friendlies a couple yeah. months ago. Then well, you've yeah, got well, was about to Charlie say, Grant I was as well. Catley and Carpenter can invert as well. There's so many you, players. You can easily play yeah. two in midfield. Yeah. Uh, you could even play Courtney Vine at wing back. Hayley Razzo can drop in as well into the midfield. Yeah, yeah. Very and, versatile. Yeah. And speaking of Hayley Razzo, she's in the forwards with Michelle Heyman, Caitlin Ford, oh, Mary Fowler. Michelle should it all cost Heyman. He's going to get another hat trick. <laughs> Michelle Heyman, come to Melbourne. Yes. Come to Melbourne. The coffee here is good. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, but so we've got to get it down to 18. And let's just talk through this. And this is, I've written this down. So yep. you can agree, disagree with me. That's fine. Mm -hmm. But this is what I think of who are the guarantees to be on the plane, barring no injuries in the next month. Mm -hmm. Mackenzie Arnold, Tegan, My Tegan Micah, Catley Carpenter, Kennedy Hunt, Torpy, Charlie Grant, Kyra Cooney Cross, Gorry if she's fit, Claire Wheeler, Ford, Fowler, Vine and Razzo. I yep. think they're all ticks. Yep. That's 15. 15 of the 18. So what? I've left out Emily Van Egmon, Michelle Heyman and Polk. I think... Do you think they're the three that just go straight in? Because TG loves his versatility. He loves I think, I think Van Ogwan does. Yep. Just for versatility. Yep. Yeah. And then I think you got to put Heyman in there. There's no like out out outright striker. striker. And mm. she's, I know she's she, goals. she just knows how to score a goal, which is so versatile. She yeah. should be that impact player in the last football. 20 minutes. Tournament football, last yeah. 20 minutes. Yeah. goal. Yeah, okay. So, she, so, so that's so what's Emily, that, 17? Emily Van Ogwan <laughs> and Michelle Heyman in, that's 17. Jeez. Who's the other player that comes in? Well, TG always picks three keepers. Well, that's what I mean. If he's picked... 
picks three keepers so there. Does and I, I, come in? I've yeah. left Co- Courtney Nevin out of this. So poor. Mm-hmm. Actually, no. Oh, that's tough. Yeah, it's so hard. That's oh, gonna be a brutal. Why are you making us do this? Tough job for TG. <laughs> yeah, yeah I mean, it's not for us. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 So that's that's what I mean. So hit us up in the comments below. Uh, who just you on YouTube, you're social yeah. media. Who would you take? Like, who is the one? Who is the one player? Who is the wild card that you would take? Because yeah. I'm just, I don't want TG's job right now. I'd love the job. It'd be great. <laughs> um, but oh, that's. Yeah. It's a great problem to have. In the past, you would have gone, oh, we know our best eight players. The biggest problem yeah. that Australia has is, or the Matildas have, is that we don't have like the next generation of striker. Where's our 22-year-old? Yeah, they'll be, yeah. They'll be coming through. Yeah, We need one desperately. Mm-hmm. Michelle Hammond and we'll just keep playing. For ages. Yeah. Same so you think an Amy can do a job? <laughs> yeah, possibly. Don't yeah. yeah, but like but as in, as in, the, in the, future. the future. That's true, that's true. She yeah. looks good. Yeah. yeah, well, she scored her first goal against Uzbekistan. Yep. So yeah, yep. that's, definitely, <laughs> that's definitely a chance. So... Yeah, maybe her. Um, obviously, you think that the Asian Cup in 2026 is going to be the final frontier for most of these players. Yep. yep. Perfect. Anyway, that is us done and dusted. We've covered a whole lot today. We did. I like Ooh. it. A bit of everything. If you haven't checked it out, make sure you get down to uh, Marvel Stadium on a th- Ooh, Friday night. <laughs> There's a Villa fan. One show, show in the women's <laughs> yeah, the women show. show. Yeah. He's actually he's, he's a couple of days late after the Tuesday show. But anyway, he's uh, he's been on the beach getting drunk after they got smashed by Crystal Palace. <laughs> five oh, nil. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Ollie Watkins will never come to Australia after this. Anyway, we are done and dusted here on Football Today. Thanks, boys. Cheers. Thank you, Alex. See you at Marvel Stadium. All right, Football Today, done. If you like this show, make sure you check out all the other shows in the Sports Today Network, from the AFL Today Show to the Cricket Today podcast, the Football Today podcast, as well as NBA Australia and NFL Australia. With Sports Today, your sporting needs have never been easier to cover.